Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a video of me checking out my cars for the weekend and my garage smoke alarm. I have to get in the garage. Here's the smoke detector. Yeah, you've never seen that smoke detector before. So uh, total we have six smoke detectors, I think. Let me get in this car. Now we have to turn on the ignition to get the thing fired up and then we would check the headlights, put on the parking brake so we can test the reverse lights. We'll quickly test the horn. And since this car might lock automatically, we're going to go ahead and roll this window down so we can reach in and unlock it. Just to be double sure. And we're going to make sure the fog lights are on. Okay. And that light's working. That's working. And that's working. And that's working. That light's working, the reverse light's working, the license plate lights are working, those lights are working. Now we're going to check the high beams on. There we go. Now we're going to check turn signals. Okay. And now checking the brake lights is a little tricky, but if you stay in the car and you have something reflecting on the back of you, then you can see it. So just hold down the brake, make sure that light's working back there, and that light's working right there. It's kind of hard to see. And then through the mirror, the right light's working. Roll the window back up. Pop the hood. I'm gonna check some things under there. I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys quickly in my pocket. thing up. I'll hold the hold the hood open. Okay. Now the engine oil level is good. We also need to check the coolant just in case. Like you don't want your car to overheat even though it is winter you still want to take precautions. And then uh, um Brake fluid, just in case you might need to make an emergency stop or something, it looks full. And um, normally I would check a power steering fluid, but this car has, um, I think they call it electric power steering, so there's no fluid. And there's washer fluid in case you need to mist your windshield clean with your wipers. That's good. We're going to go ahead and put this hood back down. And we're going to go ahead and lock up the car. Alarm is set. Now we're going to go ahead and unlock this van here.
and this car additionally has um, things like um, it has a beeper to let you know when you're too close to something but since it's so close to the garage door you should hear a beep whenever you whenever you put it in reverse so here we go oh, there it goes lights are working and that right brake lights working that middle lights working hopefully you can see it through the uh, thing but it's working there and the right lights working and then um, something I did not check in the um, other car um, was the battery because you can't check that without getting a meter and I want to go to all that trouble but you can check the battery on this car just using the dash and the battery is 11.9 volts so that's good So we gotta pull the. Oh, we forgot to check the horn. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and get in the van hood. Okay, now. That's full. Coolant's full. Brake fluid's full. Power steering fluid's full. And uh, the washer fluid's good. The way you check your oil, the way you know where the oil is, you always have this little dipstick there that tells you that's the oil, and things like this is where you put it in. And um, the coolant um, has that kind of a symbol on it, and brake fluid always has that little um, symbol right there. And then power steering fluid, of course, always has that little wheel, and washer fluid kind of looks like that little windshield wiper there. And that is how you normally would check a car. And something that this Uplander has that um, the car doesn't have is the power steering fluid. The, this car has electric um, steering, I think, and then this one has the power steering fluid. Okay. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like for more videos and subscribe to stay tuned.